John, thank you. As the coronavirus continues to spread in New York State prisons, the Correctional Officer Union and a family member of an incarcerated person speaks out. News Channel 9's Madison Moore tells us how they've been impacted. When the pandemic first hit in March, the spread inside prisons was difficult to control for officers and inmates. A spokesperson for the Correctional Officer Union says they've had to ask the state for resources. Well, when it started, you know, part of NYSCOBA's platform was providing all the members the proper PPEs, which they, at that point, they weren't, and they weren't mandated to wear them. We also wanted all visitation shut down, as well as all non-necessary transportation. Emily Napier Singletary of Syracuse is familiar with those visitation limits. Her husband is serving time at Elmira. There's no guarantee that he even will get to a phone every day um, to make a call. And so, you know, to not know when that next call is coming, um, to have somebody in the family sick and in the hospital and not know if he's going to be able to call in time to say goodbye to them. Uh, it's it's heart-wrenching. And the state recently suspended all visitation. And as vaccines begin to roll out for phase 1B, the state is urging corrections and parole officers to sign up for a shot on the New York State Department of Health website. As for the incarcerated population, the Department of Corrections says they are working with the Department of Health to create a plan. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.